Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Johnston Sacco coming to you live on the Scripture Prescription this amazing Sunday morning. I want to thank the Lord for His grace, His ability, His power, and His presence in us this morning to speak into our lives, to cause us to rise in His power and His grace. So I want to welcome wherever you are, and I believe that you're going to be blessed. I want us to pray, and then we'll hear the voice of the King. Father, we thank you this morning. We lift you and we honor you. Thank you for this great opportunity that you've given to us to hear your word. I pray this morning the Lord you touch us, you lift us, you challenge us, O oh God, by the beauty of your word. Even Father, we thank you for each and every person who shall come across this message from our country in the continent of Africa, South America, America, Europe, oh God, Asia, Australia, and every other part of the world. May your name be lifted and God change our lives to move in your dimension. We thank you and we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Good morning. I greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is an amazing morning where I'm grateful and excited about what God is doing in our midst. And I've got no doubt in my mind the Lord is going to do great things in our life. This morning, I'd like to speak about a subject. The Word of God is forever established in heaven. I read the book of Psalms, chapter 119. I read verse number 89. I'm going to read from two translations, the New King James Version and the Good News Translation. From the NKJV, the Bible tells us, Forever, O Lord, your word, your word is settled in heaven. Forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. The Good News Translation says, Your word, O Lord, will last forever. It is eternal in heaven. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, I want to declare to us this morning from the very onset that everything that God has said he will do in our lives, he will do it. But what tells us is the same yesterday, today, and forever. In fact, Samuel the Bible tells us he has lifted his word above his name. He has lifted his word above his name. Now, what do I mean? Everything that God has talked about your life. And that is why it is important for us to listen clearly what is it that God is speaking concerning our lives. When you pursue what you have heard from the Lord, it will not fail. The Bible tells us, have I spoken and shall I not do it? Everything that God sets out to do, when you listen to what he's speaking about your life, I can guarantee you, you can only end up as a victor. Now, this starting week, somebody came and talked to me about something she had heard from the Lord. And I said, you know, I cannot present it as good as you had it from the Lord yourself. Pursue it. All I'm here to do is to support you, to encourage you. And before we knew it, everything she had, every support she required came in because God was indeed speaking to her and she took up the courage and the determination to pursue that which God was speaking right into her life. Now, I am to tell you, therefore, that when we listen clearly from God, we know that what God has said he will do, he will do. He says, forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Your word, O Lord, will last forever. It is eternal in heaven. Now, the things that God has declared he will do in your life, he says, let us make man in our own image and likeness. Listen to God speaking. Then he gave the man he created dominion. Praise the name of the Lord. So I want to tell you, in the mind of God, in the word of God, in the reality of God, in the dream of God, God expects you to thrive in the condition that he has placed you in. God made the fish to thrive in the water. And so God has given us an environment as spiritual human beings to thrive in his very nature. He has given us the capacity. He has given us part of himself through his word. So his word is forever established in heaven. His word is eternal. What thing God has spoken, he will do it. If you read the book of Isaiah, this is very, very important for us to read as we relate together what the scripture says. Isaiah 55 verse number 11. If the word of God is forever settled in heaven and it is eternal, 
In the book of Isaiah, the Bible tells us, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing which I send it. Two clear words, accomplishment and it shall prosper in the thing it is sent to do. Listen, the word of God is forever established in heaven. That means the word of God does not fall away. The word of God does not fall away. Listen to me clearly. If God has spoken about your greatness, your victory, your favor, if God has spoken it, the Bible tells us the word of God will not fall away. It will accomplish that which pleases the Lord. It will accomplish what he wants on your life. It will accomplish that which pleases God. Because God to say, and it shall prosper. Oh, hallelujah. I think we need to understand what the word prosper means. Prosper. It shall prosper. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, my goodness. I, 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 I thank God for his word. Prosper. It's important. Now, the word prosper means succeed in material terms. Be financially successful. Another general version is make successful. Hallelujah. Make successful. So when God says uh, that he will do that, he will prosper in the thing for which I sent it. If God sends a word in your life and causes it to prosper, it means it will be successful. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. This morning I came to encourage you. I don't know. Maybe you were troubled. Maybe you don't know what to do. You don't know what to do from here. You don't know how to move from here. I want to tell you the word of God will cause you to prosper. And it shall prosper in the thing for which I send it. The word of God will be successful in the thing that God has sent it to do. It will be successful. And it will accomplish which pleases the Lord. Now, if the word of God is eternal, it means it cannot fail. If the word of God is eternal, it means it will last, it will, it will last forever. It is forever settled in heaven. Oh, my friend, I hope you can grasp this word, believe it, and move with it in the name of Jesus Christ. I came therefore to speak to you this Sunday morning because I believe God is doing a new thing. God is establishing his grace, his power, and his favor towards us. His word is not falling away. It will accomplish that which it has been done to do, and it will prosper in our lives in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Spirit of God continues to throw more light on this word so that your life can never ever be the same again by the grace of God. Shall we pray? Lord Jesus, we thank you. We thank you because of the beauty of your word. Let your word, my Father, my God, prosper in that which you sent it and accomplish that which you have brought in our lives through it for the glory of your name. I want to thank you for every listener. My God, we know that your word is forever settled in heaven, even to do the very best to us by the grace of God. Thank you, Father, because every word you have released from your mouth to us will succeed in the name of Jesus. We want to thank you and to bless you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Good morning, my friend. Violet, the Lord bless you. Good to see you. I know that you are forever established in God. The word of God upon your life will not fall away. The Lord will bless you. Duncan, my friend, the Lord bless you. And God be with you this Sunday morning. And in the entire day and in the coming week, may the Lord continue to shine upon your life by the grace of God. God bless you. God bless you. This has been your host, Pastor Johnson Sacco, coming to you live on the Scripture Prescription, your daily morning dose of the word of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen.